Today what we're going to do in Splunk is we're going to enhance the security by making it a HTTPS. So it's the secure version of HTTP. Now by default the, the download or installation of Splunk is just on HTTP. So we're going to change that and it's really easy. You can do that via the GUI or you can do it via command line as well. I will show you how to do it in both. In the GUI I'll just point you to the configuration changes and in the CLI where I'll actually perform the change. So you can choose one or the other. You've just, you're have just you just gonna have both options. So all you wanna do is once you've logged into your Splunk instance, you can see it says the connection is not secure. Uh, what we wanna do is go over to settings, go to server settings under system, and just give that a moment. It's a bit slow on this instance. And we wanna go to general settings. And all you would do here is go to this option here. So enable SSL, secure sockets layer, HTTPS in Splunk web. So you just click yes on that one. You can also change the web port. I'm not gonna do that here. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is. But all you'd need to do is click that option and then click save over here. And then you'd need to restart the machine. Now we're gonna do this in the CLI version as well. Control Alt T for terminal. So we'll go into the path where Splunk lives, which is opt Splunk binary. We then want to enter Splunk enable web SSL. We want to do that with sudo, rerun that with sudo, enter your password. And then let's just restart Splunk, restart. We now get a port query. So the port is already bound. So let's change the port and we'll make it 8080 press enter. Need to do that with sudo. And we'll let that restart. Okay, so now as you can see, waiting for web server at HTTPS on the local host on port 8000 to be available. Right, so now the web interface is this. So we'll just copy that. And if we try to go on Splunk how we would normally under the 8000, come out of that. So, as you can see, so this was us logged in under HTTP, so non secure. And you can see it's been disconnected. So, let's now go in Firefox again. And we'll enter our address, which is HTTPS Ubuntu server on port 8000. And because it's a self signed certificate, you just get that warning. So go to advanced, accept and continue. Perfectly fine in this instance to do that. And there we go. So we've got HTTPS Ubuntu server, and that's now on the same port as it was before, but we've now made it a secure SSL version. So that means there's no plain, plain text flying across the network that can be snooped on. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.